Hello and welcome back to the Second Chance Live channel here on YouTube. I'm happy to see that you decided to stop by to watch this video presentation. Thank you. In today's video presentation, I would like to share an article that I wrote several weeks ago. The title, Starting a New Project, Managing Stress and Brain Injury. I've completed the project since I wrote this article and published it several weeks ago. I'm sharing this uh, article with you in video format for individuals to learn through watching and listening. To read the article, I'll put my glass back on and bring up the article. I want to thank you for your time. Here's the article. Starting a new project, managing stress and brain injury. Hello and welcome back to Second Chance to Live. I'm happy to have you around my table. Thank you for taking the time to visit. I hope your day is going well. Several days ago, I was feeling a little overwhelmed at the prospect of moving. Not that I am going to move, but that if I had to move. As I thought about the things involved with having to move, I knew I wanted to avoid as much, as much stress as possible. I realized that I could manage the stress by working smart. So I decided to start sorting through and getting rid of what I no longer needed. Here's a riddle that I like. How do you eat an elephant? The answer is one bite at a time. Elephants, like goals and projects, can seem overwhelming when looked at as a whole. But when broken down into bite-sized pieces, the enormity or bigness of the ele elephant goals or projects become manageable. By working smart, I decided to start a little at a time. Yesterday, I began working in my walk-in closet. During the past two days, I've gone through, thrown out, and reorganized the contents of my closet. I am glad that I started on the project by dividing the apartment into sections. By breaking down and completing the project by sections, I am able to avoid stress and celebrate the gains made in the process of completing the project. So I was on my way to completing the project by managing the stress a little at a time. In the next several days, I plan to work on my bedroom and computer area, then start in my living room, dinette area, and kitchen. My needing to move will probably not occur, but I am taking steps to practice healthy, healthy self-care. By taking steps to practice healthy self-care, I am able to do what I can do to manage what is in my control while trusting that things will work out. Work out regardless of whether I have to move or will be able to stay in my apartment. As my mom, mom said to me some time ago, by taking care of the things we can, we are able to, able to feel lighter. Lighter by taking steps a little at, at a time to manage stress. Today's thought. In the event that you find yourself facing an elephant that seems overwhelming to you, step back. Realize that it is just an elephant. No biggie, no worries. You can consume the elephant and accomplish the project. You can chip away at the project or, go or goal a little at a time, one bite, one section at a time. By working on the project or goal, one objective or section at a time, you, you will feel lighter and you will be able to celebrate the gains you make. You don't have to get it all done today. You can face the elephant with confidence by knowing that you can accomplish your goal one bite at a time. And here's a quote that I, or a, a part of the serenity prayer that helps me to manage stress. God grant me the serenity to accept the things that I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference. This is the end of the article. Let me encourage you, my friends, to start on the project that you've been thinking about starting and break it down into sections, objectives, or pieces. And you will accomplish your goal and project one bite at a time.
please also let me encourage you to not give up on yourself, your process, or a loving God, because more will be revealed to you and to me with an end time. The pieces of the puzzle will come together in the correct order and at the right time. I'll say so long for now. Have a great day, and God bless both you and your family. So long now.